Hey foodies, thanks for watching. I've got a special guest here, Jamie. He is a bit of a pawpaw aficionado, and he is here to help us make a pawpaw mascarpone ice cream. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. It's really good. I made the pawpaws. I made the mascarpone cheese um, in a previous clip, mm -hmm. and I thought let's incorporate this into Papa ice cream because wow, I can't wait. We were in Crete and he got me a fig and mascarpone gelato. Yeah, it was, oh, it was. And we thought, why not put yeah. Papa in there instead and see yeah. how it goes. It was really good. Mm -hmm. um, so the, these are some Papa that we grew in our backyard. I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. um, we need to seed and pulp them. Yeah. So do you want to grab the bowls, the knife, and the spoons, and we're gonna start that. I'm gonna move this aside just while we do that quickly. Do I get the sad bowl and you get the nice bowl? No, this is for the seeds and that's for the pulp. Okay. So why don't you uh, cut them because it can be a little tricky cutting a pawpaw because there's, the seeds are so big in it. Mm -hmm. And and I find, I mean you can't cut all the way through as you can see. Let's see if this opens up or falls apart. Yeah. Oh my god, that looks beautiful. I have to smell it. Oh. Oh, it, oh, it smells. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. So, you can't eat the seeds, you can't eat the skin, but you can definitely eat the pulp. Yeah. Um, and so I'm just going to take the seeds out. Oh, that one was even easier. Oh my goodness, that one looks good. And we just go ahead and we're just going to... Seed them, mm -hmm. and then we'll uh, pulp them. So you can be prissy like we are, and use spoons to seed these, and get the pulp out. Or, you can just squish them, oh, and watch it all yeah. come flying out too. I forgot about the squish method. But I figured it would be easier this way, separating the seeds, using a using a spoon instead of just smashing them. You're getting your hands covered in pawpaw. And you're getting your hands covered <laughs> in pawpaw. That went pretty quick. That went pretty quick. Uh, so we're done with the seeds. Is there anything we can do with the seeds? Uh, yeah, you can keep them. Uh, if you want to grow them, you keep them in your fridge over winter. And there's lots of tutorials about how to do that online. Should they dry out? No, they no? should never dry out. If okay. you want to keep them to grow them, they should never dry out. Okay. If you don't want to keep them, you can see if somebody else around you wants them because they often go for a lot of money. Nice. So Well, I'm going to let you set those aside. Thank you. So we can use those up in a minute. And we're going to set that just to the side for Alrighty. a moment. And I've got my, my pot here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start by adding our eggs and our sugar and our corn syrup. So do you want to put the eggs and the sugar in? Sure. Oh my goodness, that looks great. Here, I'll use the spatula, spatula if you want. Thanks. And the sugar. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And so we also want to add our milk. Mm -hmm. Sorry, not milk. That's our whipping cream, I should say. A little different. Yeah, it is a little bit different. A little different. And this is our milk. And I'm using a whole milk. Okay, so this is gonna go on the stove and we're just gonna heat it on low. So I'm turning it down to low and I'm gonna just give it a light stir. And we're just gonna wait, stir it continuously and, and wait for it to thicken. And once it starts to thicken, it thickens really quickly. So I'm stirring this to keep it from scorching on the bottom. And and basically making scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Okay. Yeah. You don't want scrambled eggs. No. Ice no. cream. It's ice cream, that's right. And you don't want scrambled eggs in your ice cream. No. No. Not my favorite. So you can see at 77, we're almost there. This is in Celsius, and so it's reached about 175 degrees Fahrenheit or 80 degrees Celsius. So we can take that off the heat. Okay, turn it off. Yeah, we're going to take it off the heat, bring it over here. 
We're going to stir in our mascarpone. Okay. And we need about a half a cup of mascarpone. And I like being a little extra generous with that. I'm going to scrape that off for me. Great. And I'm going to add my vanilla. And we're going to stir that in until it's really well combined. We may even need to whisk it. So the hot liquid is actually going to melt the cheese, which is what we want. Okay, oh, smells good already. It smells really good. <laughs> Here, why don't we whisk it a little bit? And you can see the heat. Right. And it, it smells like a custard, like it smells like real vanilla ice cream so far. Okay, so now we want to put it through a strainer. Okay. Um, and that's so that we don't have any lumps or, or clumps. So we'll just okay. go a little bit that way, and I'm gonna pour it. And you can see a little bit of, a few lumps here and there, but it's mm. not bad. Just try and get some of it through. Okay, so we'll set that all. We're done with that. And yeah, and that, okay. perfect. That looks beautiful. So we're gonna mix in the pawpaw. Okay. And we've got roughly a cup here, mm -hmm. which is really good. And That's I'm gonna just try and break it up a little bit more. Not that I don't want a big clump of pawpaw in my mouth, because that stuff is good. And pawpaw is nice in an ice cream because you don't have to you don't have to bake it. Yes, so what happens when it ba gets baked? Well, it loses a lot of its flavor. And that may be what the taste that you're going for. A lot of people make pawpaw bread, like a banana bread. But if you want to keep the flavor, then you want to put it in something after it's cooked. Yes, wonderful, wonderful advice. So you can still see some clumps of pawpaw, and that's completely fine. Mm -hmm. I think that's great, just biting into like a little chunk of fruit and that's mm -hmm. that's really fun um so where can you find pawpaws uh, pawpaws are indigenous to eastern north america mm -hmm. uh, they kind of grow up the mississippi river and across over to the great lakes and uh, that's where you find most of them we're here in southern ontario right at the northern end of their range uh, so you can find them in the woods if you know where to go but people tend to guard those locations with their lives <laughs> Um, the best way to get them is to find someone who's growing them or grow them yourself. Okay. Um, so right now there's a, you know, a big cottage industry and people growing them themselves. In Ontario, there's a couple of places where you can buy them during the season. Around here, they're usually in season the very end of September through the middle, even to the end of October, um, all the way into to, to Halloween, if you know where to find them. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's great. How old are Papa? Uh, pawpaws have been around for a long time uh, in North America. People, scientists think that pawpaws were originally food for mastodons and uh, giant sloths, hmm. animals that would be able to sort of get up into the canopy and get them. Um, and that uh, they would be distributed, sort of eaten whole and distributed by, uh, by megafauna like that in ancient times. They think that it's one of the reasons, so if you eat a pawpaw seed you're gonna to have to stay really close to the toilet for a very long time um which is why you don't eat the seeds and That's why you don't eat the seeds but for something the size of an elephant it would just mean that there was effective delivery of yeah. both seed and manure and uh, that's how they got spread around originally. But since they died off, uh, it's been mostly uh, indigenous folks and then settlers who have been spreading them and uh, around North America. That's great. Yeah. So we're gonna let this cool for a little while, and when it's room temperature, we're gonna throw it into the ice cream maker, and then we're gonna see what the Papa Mascarpone ice cream tastes like. See you in a moment. So we put the mixture into an ice bath. Um, it's been 45 minutes or so. It's thickened up really, really nicely. And you can put it into an ice cream maker at this point, but if you don't have an ice cream maker, there is a solution. And I've just taken a loaf pan and I've lined it with some parchment paper because there's, 
there's essentially so much fat and egg in this that it's not gonna freeze absolutely solid. It won't be as fluffy as when you have ice cream from an ice cream maker, but it's gonna be really good anyway. So all I'm doing is I'm gonna pour that right in. And then that's just gonna go into my freezer for about 24 hours and then eat to your heart's content. And so if I set that aside, we've got the ice cream already made. There we go. Oh, look at these. They look beautiful. And you can see, like, mm -hmm. thank you. Little bits of pawpaw there. It looks really good. What do you think? Mm -hmm. it smells incredible. Yeah, it does. It, oh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Let's dig in. Let's All give right. it a try. Oh my god. The pawpaw mm -hmm. is intense. It's Wonderful, mm -hmm. and you can taste a little bit of the the mascarpone cheese. Mm -hmm. It adds a really nice creaminess mm -hmm. to it. Oh, that's really nice. Is there anything you want to add to it, other than you want to eat more? Next time, I want you to let me wear my cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see about that. Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon. That's nice. I need this whole bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I am gonna eat a whole bowl. Mm-hmm.